In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to evaluate composite functions f composed of g composed of h. This is part three of the series. The first question asks, find f composed of g composed of h if you have the following three functions. If you're unfamiliar with this notation, what this is suggesting is f at g at h of x. So the first thing that we have to do in a situation like this is put the contents of g into f. So let's do that. f at g of x is equal to 2 times x to the power of 7 plus 3 over x to the power of 7 plus 3 plus 5. Now at this stage, you can simplify what you have. And the only thing that can be simplified here is the bottom. So I'm going to replace 3 plus 5 with 8. The next step is to apply h within the function g of x. So let's do that. f at g at h of x is equal to 2 times this, the square root of x plus 4, to the power of 7 plus 3 over x, which once again we'll, we'll replace with that, x plus 4 square rooted to the power of 7 plus 8. And that's it. Let's move on to question 2. Question 2 is very similar to question 1, so if you would like, you could try it yourself. Once again, we'll apply the content of g into f, and then the content of h into f of g. f at x is equal to 3x over x plus 2. Now I'm going to apply g. 3 times x cubed plus 5 over x cubed plus 5 plus 2. And I'm going to replace these two with 7. Next, I'll apply my h, f at g, h of x, is equal to 3 times the square root of x plus 7 to the power of 3 plus 5 over x plus 7 square rooted to the power of 3 plus 7. And there you have it. Two more examples on how to evaluate composite functions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.